I wouldn't say it, it, it hurt, but it would be good if we could get, get that visual at the same time, which that's, that's what's coming around now. You find that the world has gotten so much smaller because of the new, the new technologies, the computers, the, the, the MySpaces, the, the, just like this. This program wasn't here like 10 years ago. And I'm on this program now where so much people are going to be watching and going to be see what's going on, getting the DVDs. And the world has gotten so much smaller, so it's, it's getting a little bit better now. And you find that with the help of like a major label like Atlantic, you find that so much people on the streets now when they see us, they know that, oh, that's a kid that does the other story. You see in the street, rah, rah, before we wouldn't get that. So I'm like good about it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm happy what in, in the direction where it's going. I remember those days when L was my home, when me and mama bed was a big piece of foam. Mommy never like paid and my ear never come. When mama gonna work me, go street or roam. And the album is out. Out. The album Ghetto Story is out. Uh, we have Alicia Keys on the album. We have the Senegal King, Akon on the album. We have the beautiful Rihanna on the album. And four brand new artists on the album also. Make sure y'all out there go get the album, get three copies. One for the car, one for the house, and one stays in the plastic because it's a classic. <laughs> oh, when Vitaminous came out, everyone thought that I was going to drop the album that summer of 2004. But at the time, I didn't have an album. We had just gotten the deal with Atlantic, and they were rushing the album. And that's not how me, myself, made music. So we, we took like 18 months and got the right album together that I was sure that would, would satisfy the fans. And picture this, if we had not waited for 18 months, you wouldn't get get a story. <laughs> Hands down. So that's, that's the main reason why you haven't heard nothing. I've just been in the studio, just working, working, working hard to finish the album. We're just here, just like any other dance hall artist, trying to take the music to that level where it's, it gets its respect and its due that it really deserves. Sean, by himself, can sell a lot of records, but he, Sean by himself can't do it. If you ask him, he'll tell you that he needs help in, in order to let them know that it's a force to be reckoned with and that it's, it's not just like a fad or, or like a music that, that just come every summer or every Christmas or whatever they may say about it out there. We want them to know that it's, it's a like longevity and it's, it's a force to be reckoned with in the world as a genre. Just love for the music and hard work. Because with just the music and the talent in the studio, writing or, or recording, that's not enough. You have to hit the road, you have to hit the clubs, you have to do this, you have to do that. I'm on the grind every day. I have this thing that I say, I'm on the grind, son. I got a deal, but I didn't get a dime, son. Wasn't for music, I'll be surely doing the nine, son. I don't mean nine to five, I mean crime, son. <laughs> it's just hard work. To me, the road to success is not straight. There's a curve called failure, loops called confusion. Speed bumps call friends, and red lights call enemies. Caution signs call family, and flat tires call jobs. But if you have a spear called determination, and an engine called perseverance, with insurance called fate, and the drive to make it, you'll reach a place called success. This is a survival story, blow magazine story. This is my story. This a real ghetto story. Blow magazine. Hey, I remember those days when wow wow. Yo, it's your boy Shama in watching blow. Can you hear me? Yo, don't even move. Our man, shout off your tone. Remember me telling you that. Boss it. <laughs>